In what seems straight out of science fiction, a robot has performed surgery and made history. In a world first, the robot performed a double lung surgery on U.S. medic Cheryl Meckar. Now, she had been living with a lung condition which made it difficult to breathe. The transplant was successful, and Meckar had uh, been finally able to take a good breath. So why did a robot perform the surgery? How did it happen? And what are the benefits and the risks of robotic surgeries? What other surgeries have robots performed? Our next report tells you. U.S. medic Cheryl Merkar has led an active life. The 57-year-old spent years scuba diving, getting her black belt in karate and riding her motorcycle. But in 2010, she was diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That's a lung condition which makes it difficult to breathe. And it changed Merkar's life. Her health went downhill and when the pandemic struck, it made matters progressively worse. She spent years looking for a solution. Eventually, she was put on the list for a double lung transplant. And finally, she got the call. 97. Oh, she was to have the surgery, but with a twist. It was going to be performed by a robot. Later, I got the call. They said they have a 98% match, and how soon can you get here? And my first reaction was, holy you know what, and I'll be there in two hours. And now, Merkar is a part of history. She has become the first person in the world to receive a double lung transplant by a robot. Cheryl, we were able to do both lungs robotically. You were the first in the world. And when you hear something like that, that, ugh, I, I don't know how to describe that. That's first in the world. What, there's eight billion people? And I was the first to have that done. The surgery was performed at a New York hospital. A team of doctors worked in tandem with a robot, the Da Vinci X1. The doctors made small incisions between Merkar's ribs, then employed the robot to remove the deceased lungs, prepare the site for implantation, and sew in the donor's lungs. It was a seven-hour-long procedure, after which Merkar was able to take a good breath at last. But why did a robot perform the surgery? Pain tends to be a, a decent problem for patients afterwards. Um, in terms of the robotic transplant, Instead of something that is probably eight inches in terms of an incision, we can get it down to a two inch incision. And so, um, and then we do, we put the small ports in for the robot. So there's significantly less trauma on the chest wall. So the surgery is minimally invasive, which speeds up the recovery and healing process and shortens the hospital stay. Of course, robotic surgeries have their risks, similar to surgeries performed by humans. But the benefits outweigh the risks. They, yeah, definitely double lung transplant. In robotic surgeries, complex procedures are performed with more precision. There are fewer complications, such as surgical site infections. There is less blood loss. The scars are smaller and less noticeable. And of course, patients are in lesser pain, so recovery is quicker. This is why robotic surgeries are making rapid advancements. Robots are regularly used in all kinds of surgeries, like kidney transplant, hip replacement, gallbladder removal, and cancer procedures. In a first, 2022 witnessed a partial lung transfer by a robot. Earlier this year, in September, a robot performed a single lung transplant. That was a first, too. And now, just months later, the world has its first robotic double lung transplant. Thanks to the robo-doctors, it seems we are living in the future.